Ah, Arturo de León. Too. Hey guys, good evening. Good evening. Hi guys, nice to see you again. Oh, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so this is Alejandro Narbona, guys. <laughs> Welcome on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. So I'm gonna be your facilitator for this module. How are you doing right now? Come on. Good, mate. How are you? Good. Locally, good. still. Um, Very good. Still everything okay. with a roof over my head. So I consider that that good. All right. Um, I, I see a couple of familiar faces here. I don't know if I have been with you before or I have seen you on videos, but I see some familiar people right here. <laughs> Uh, maybe you see me in uh, Hollywood. Oh, it could be. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. in, in some famous movies. <laughs> Teacher, your name is Alejandro? My name is Alejandro Narbona. Okay, Alejandro Narbona. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, hello Alejandro. Hi. Nice um, to have hey. you here. Nice to have you guys. Before we start with the mm -hmm. class, I would like to share uh -huh. a couple of rules and how things are going to be. Hello. Well, these are my rules. Number one, try. Okay, you gotta try, you gotta practice. Number two, don't be sorry. You are allowed to make mistakes. That's how you learn. And number three, respect. Okay? okay. I need everybody respecting everybody. Um, let me see. Sure. Sometimes I throw kind of curved balls. William. What are the three rules of the class? The first one was um, uh huh. I, Starts with a T. T T. Try. try. Yeah, it you said right. try. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one was don't be sorry. That's right. And the third one, respect. Exactly. Those are the three rules of the class. Also, I have another one. Um, Thank you very much for having the cameras on. I would appreciate if you always have the cameras, except if you're naked. Other than that, I, <laughs> I appreciate to see your faces, your reactions, etc. Okay? okay. And okay. Sure. with the background noise, I understand some people have children, you know, some people sometimes there's a lot of background noise. So let's try to keep it down to the minimum, right? And uh, I think we're going to be fine. If not, I'm going to be muting you. If there's a lot of noise coming from your, from your microphones, I'm just going to mute you. Okay. A couple of more things. <laughs> I always log in at 801, 802, so, I can have, so people can have time to log in. Okay? Okay. Guys, any questions Perfect. whatsoever? Do you guys have any questions? No. Oh. <laughs> No? No. No. no question for me. No. All right. It's, I know. Very good. So um, I already introduced myself in the WhatsApp group. If you have any single question, you can text me. But please tell me, hey, I am Arturo Leon from the group um, Pre-Advanced 3. And I have a question about the following. Right? <clears throat> Got it. Fantastic. So let's get it down to business, guys. We're going to start with the, with the first part. Intro and video section. I want to test your listening skills with this video. And I'm going to be asking some comprehension questions. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yes. Now, I want everybody to please mute your microphones. Because of the bandwidth, I'm going to turn my camera off while I play the video. Let's pay attention, please. We're about to begin a new course. We want you to keep on learning. So stay and watch the first intro video we have for you. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. 
What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? <gasps> it isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Well, don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over. But she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. All right, guys. So we're going to stop it right here. Who can tell me what was the story about? About a couple. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Theodore and Doris, I think. Uh, they were uh, very sociable. They mm -hmm. love each other. And basically, there was a big accident. The house burned. And when the husband came in, and he always brought flowers to the lady. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a scary story. And she's telling the story to these ladies. Um, it's really good at to the end, but I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> <Okay>. story. <laughs> that was that was quite uh quite detailed what you were saying. <laughs> nice, good job, Tom. Thank you. Does anybody else want to add something? I have a question. Uh huh. Please, please, please. I will I was some person in a campfire. Yes, some person in a campfire. There was a big tragedy. And who died? Sorry? Who died? The girlfriend. Who, exactly. The girlfriend died. The girlfriend. Now, is this a funny story or a sad story? Scary story. Scary story. Sad story. Scary story. Sad, story. Scary. sad and scary. Now, this is what we're going to do, guys. Does anybody have a question about, about what happened? Yeah, I have a question about the meaning of, of I don't know if I listen well, but mm -hmm. uh, they, they said uh, cookie stories, uh, something like that. Spooky. Cookie. Spooky. 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 Uh -huh. spooky. spooky. Who, who can tell me what is the meaning of spooky? What is the meaning of that? Creepy. 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 Uh -huh. Like it's scary. Okay. Scary, like scary, creepy, well, creepy. You, you have it right there. Where does the, the story? Okay. Them. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So spooky. On, on, on far, on far, on far, okay. uh, far. Where? Mm -hmm. Farm. What? Do you, what is the meaning of farm? Farm. Uh, when farm. you live out of a country, out of the, it's like the countryside. The mm -hmm. country. Yeah, like when you live far away from the city, yeah. Exactly. So now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you no more than five minutes. We're going to go to the break rooms, and I want you to finish the story using your imagination. 
All right. That's why I stopped it. So I want to see your imagination, you know, shining. So I'm going to open up the break rooms. I wanted to please accept the invitation you're going to receive. And we're going to have three participants. Per room. Mm -hmm. All right. So check your screen. You're going to have a little button that you have to click on join. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no more than five minutes. I'll be visiting you. Let's do it, guys. Tom and room number one. All right, we're just missing Nubia, Julio, Mauricio, and Tony and Amaya. So you accept the invite. Mauri, did you get the invite? I I check in join mm -hmm. y and me salí de la plataforma. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. Let me send you another one. Did you receive it already? Okay. Nice. We did. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about it, Mauricio. <laughs> Your session, do me a favor, log out and log back in. Yes. Because mm -hmm, you have double session. I'll be waiting for you here. Try to log out. Trate de desconectarse, de salirse de la plataforma. Ah, desconectarme. Uh -huh. And then you, you log in again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. But wait, give me a second. Check it again. Sale de nuevo el join? Join? No. No? No. no. What about now? No. Okay, yeah, log out and log back in, please. Okay. So down at the bottom, you're gonna see that says end. End. Uh-huh, and it's a red button in the bottom right corner. Right corner. Right corner. Abajo a la derecha hay un botón que dice end. It's in red. No, no, me no. Okay. No. In that case, don't worry. If you want, stay here. And uh, people is going to come in a couple of minutes. Leave. Uh, me aparece leave. Oh, okay. Go ahead and click on leave. And then join again. Y luego se vuelve a meter. Hmm. Okay. La Llorona, he's a Lloron. <laughs> Lloron. <laughs> he's hey, the Lloron. North American. Hey, what's up, guys? Okay. Hello, sir. Hey, continue. I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, we're I'm we're not saying here. that this this ending of this story is a, a fun story. It's not a, for me. It's a, a sad story because someone's died. But Tom has a nice story to say to tell. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, <a little laughs> video, I'm going to start. Okay. Basically, uh, right after the the house burned, mm -hmm. Theodore decided to go search for his wife so he couldn't find her. So he decided to walk all over the country searching for his lovely and beautiful wife. He would call her in the darkness 
uh, right after nine o'clock, you could hear his name saying, Doris, my wife, my darling, my beautiful woman, okay. where are you? El Joron. El Joron. <laughs> so we call him El Joron <laughs> from North America. <laughs> okay, nice. Then the North American Joron. So it's, the, it's another version of La Llorona. <laughs> okay. Good, you, you get a lot of imagination, guys. <laughs> yeah. Very good. We're so, not done. <laughs> I know you're not done, but we're gonna go back to the main session so everybody can collaborate, okay? Okay. okay. okay, so we're gonna get everybody back in less than 30 seconds. Good. Okay, so guys, um, Tom and his group were saying that this is the story of El Llorón instead of La Llorona. So um, I'm gonna get a few people so you can continue with the story. You got 10 seconds, Tom. Go ahead and continue what you were saying. Tom Machado. Hey, uh... Get your microphone. Microphone La cry. Uh, I... La cry. Okay, got it. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. You got 10 seconds. Yes. I'm going to okay. stop him and I'm going to choose another person to continue with the story. Okay. Go, sir. Okay. Theodore decided to look for his wife. He decided to walk all over the continent, calling her name with the flowers on his hands. Ready? Okay. Less yeah. than 10 seconds. Choose a victim. Um, <laughs> okay, let me see. David. David, oh, David, 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 David. Um, I don't see any David. Oh, yes, David, go. You got 10 seconds, David. He's Microsoft, okay. Uh -huh, continue okay. with the story. She came back home that day and, and then she killed him all after that. Um, everything failed. Ever scare and dang. Um, Time. Choose a victim. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Arturo. Arturo, go go. <laughs> okay. Uh, when the when when he said when he saw the uh, her girlfriend die dead, he dead, 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 he got frustrated and he did too. And uh, in the forest. He appears every okay. victim. The last victim. Um, let me see. Anybody? Uh, Francisco. Inside. Okay. Uh -huh. And then the Theodore uh, crossed around the country and was crying all around the country and saying, "Doris, where are you? Where are you?" And when find someone, uh, he kills uh, that person. You find. Okay. Nice. Good job, guys. I see that there's a lot of anger and killing in your, in your <laughs> Wow. It's a funny story, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. We're going to do exercise like this from now and then. Now, let's go ahead and work a little bit with the platform. Okay. Nice. Please mute your mics again so we can watch up this video. You can hear. Hey, how are you? We can hear anything. There is no sound, second. Alejandro. Give me a second. Got it. Okay, thank you very much for letting me know. And uh, let me click a new share. Just a moment. Here it is. Thank you for letting me know, guys. There we go.
if you can, try to mute your microphones and repeat. You're gonna learn a lot from repeating. So mute your microphones and repeat whatever you hear at the same pace. So how were you when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? All right, guys, now I have a question. Do you know what is the meaning of turning point? Uh, it's basically after you, well, when you are a teenager or a, mm -hmm. or a really young boy, mm -hmm. uh, you don't care about life. You don't know anything about life, but there is a point in life when you come to, when you wake up, when you wake up basically, and you start seeing the reality. Uh, basically, what your mama told you, uh, your mama say, uh, Dad, son, do something that's going to help you in the future. Mm -hmm. But you are a kid and you're like, well... I don't, I don't care, so I'm going to take a nap, I'm going to watch TV, and then there is a point in life when you realize that, well, well I, now I need money, how my mama doesn't give me any more money, so I have to work, and when you start working, and you see your first paycheck, or you see your first money, and then you see the difference, and now, then you start uh, becoming an adult, that's exactly. basically the turning point, and so then you start uh, saving money. Uh, seeing things in a different way. Mm. That's, that's what I wanted, the, the, conclusion, the conclusion that I want to jump in. Um, that's a good example, pretty much, Tom. But who can give me, or can you give me a definition of turning point, but super uh, easy and short? Turning point, okay, turning point is a change. It's a change from one point to another. Okay, or a change on your mind. Who's talking? Francisco looking... Cepeda. Oh, there you are, Francisco. Okay, exactly. It's a change in your life where everything is different now. Now, I'm going to mention two turning points in my life because I was a very, let's say a very... Responsible? Like, hey, come on, man. Don't say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit um, outgoing, let's say that way, you know? And my life changed when I move out, when I started living by myself. I thought, hey, everything is gonna be a whole party, you know, just a lot of crazy things are gonna happen in my house, but it didn't because I didn't have any money to do it. So I became more responsible, you know, I changed. And the other turning point in my life is when I got arrejuntado, when I got started living with my girl, then- uh, <laughs> Kinda, right? <laughs> we start with nothing and little by little, uh, doing a lot of hard work, then we are where we are. So I wanna know about your turning points, guys. We're gonna go back to the meeting rooms. I'm gonna be visiting you, and I wanted to talk about something okay. that changed your life. 
Let's go ahead and accept the invite. I'll visit you soon. Streaming. There we go. Hey, Frank, can you hear me? I understand, but my internet is uh, very bad in my phone. No, um, yes, Elus, if you have a turning, point. turning point of your life. It's, it, it's, it's, it's the point when you, when you decide or, or something or you uh, uh, a point of the time that uh, that um, well let me see if I can help you a little bit uh, turning point is when something happened on your life and you break then you start to live uh, by a different way like for example uh, the thing the teacher was telling on us your life. on your life okay uh, when you got graduated from high school and you start to work or when you uh, got graduated from university, probably uh, when you have your first job, you got married, your things first, like that. Your first uh, kid. I think that is what um, counts as a turning point. Mm -hmm. Okay, in my case, I'm I I did study in, in, in I studied sorry in, in the university uni Unicai. University. I did, I did in Santa Ana. I studied a manager administration and I business like business management. Business, ah sorry, I'm business sorry. my my name, my name is and I enjoyed my 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 career or my. Uh, I can hear you clearly. Yes. Hey guys. Um, I think that. Hello. Let me see. You haven't been able. Okay, never mind. I want to hear your stories right now. What you got from me? The turning okay. points in your life. Turning point. Well, in my life, mm -hmm. I think was the big uh, interpoint is when I was married. Oh, when you got married? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and right now, I pregnant, and it's a other change in my life. Nice. Oh. Congratulations. Thank Amazing. you. <laughs> Okay, very, very good. That, that's a good turning point. Nice. Yeah. All right, keep on asking questions. We're gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna check another group, okay? You're doing great. Just okay. next person and make sure you ask questions to each other. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. How much knowledge you can acquire or you, you are getting during your classes and how much your knowledge about English start increasing over the over the weeks, over the, the, the days. So that's a very important turning point. Yeah. So another turning point and another change, very important change in your life. Well mm, when I realized that I had to get a job but I <laughs> haven't had the opportunity yes. yet. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, it's so difficult. And now because of the pandemic, it's more difficult. Mm. Yeah. So, Hello. The pandemic, uh, um, the pandemic uh, changed very much life, the people. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah, that's a good 
It is not a good turning point, but it's a good point. I just joined the group and I don't know where what you are talking about. We are talking about turning points, a uh, change in your life, a very important change in your life. Nice. Very important change. Changes in, in the quarantine, or what do you mean? In your life. In all, your whole life. All life. In your whole life. Yeah, in, in your my whole, whole life. life. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Douglas. For example. Um, for example, Fatima uh, told us about uh, starting. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. In, in my case, when I was a child, uh, I am. I was a good student. I never drinks uh, beer. So uh -huh. I never drank a beer. So you can... I never drank beer. <laughs> never, never. I I was a, a good good girl. Uh, I remember uh, I have I had um, a como sería? note high note good in my grades notes. or good scores. Good, okay. good grades. <laughs> good marks too. Good marks in my university. I like to study chemistry and pharmacy. I I graduate good. Graduated. 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 Okay. Nice. Good job. Keep on doing that. Good job. Let me check another group. Great job. Okay. Go ahead. All right, how are you doing? Uh, two years. Okay. Huh? Very good. Very good. I'm very good. I married. Yeah. Do you have uh, um, babies? Not you, but your wife. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my wife? Eh? Mm -hmm. Sir? <laughs> yes. No, but you can ask him, do you have babies or do you have children? Yeah. Do you have children? Uh, yeah, I, I have uh, four children. Four? Uh, oh. uh, girls or boys? Uh, two, two well. Uh, girls, boys. My um, two girls, two boys. Okay. Nice. 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 Keep on. We're gonna go back in a few minutes, but keep on, keep on working. Good job, guys. To to learn what you love, and if something you love is uh, learning languages, that is good for us. And practice, practice, and practice listening. And listening and like in English, is everything. Like in English, there are like yes. four four things: like listen and repeat, read and write. Those are the four basic steps. And yeah. when you when you learn that, uh, basically, you're able to understand the language. Mm -hmm. Or communicate. Yes. Or co to communicate with people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Conversation. Conversation, practice, and like a practice. Like more like practice. Try and read and listen. Mm -hmm. Listen and yeah, repeat. The thing, the listening. Thing is we, we it's going to be listening. Yeah, the, thing, the thing is when, when we try to... Uh, speak we speak like uh, we are talking in spanish it does the thing that we are making or, or we're doing wrong yes uh, we, we are the same uh, every time that you are practicing you are a uh, or shy or something like that but you never try to do like the american does mm -hmm. continue guys the thing is, uh, uh, in these times uh, will be a uh, a turning point because uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not, uh, I, I, I'm out of work this time. I have to quit in my, for my job because- I, had, uh, I, Arturo, I had to quit my job. I, I had to quit my job. I had to quit my job because I- So we can work. make a club. This is a, a club of people who doesn't have any job. I have no job mm -hmm. too, either. Hey, either you, uh, English yes. corporation, yeah. either. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. That's right. Yes, that's right. Okay. And, and, and this is for for, for it will be my turning point. 
maybe. Mm -hmm. Probably COVID-19 is a turning point for everybody and we didn't look for it, but who knows? Um, life is gonna change after the quarantine uh, finishes and well, it's changing by now, but who cares? We need to do something about it. All right. So guys, thank you very much for coming back. Um, I need a volunteer. You're gonna have 30 seconds to tell everybody about your turning point. Just one, don't fight. Okay, good evening. Uh, I am Tom and I live in Chapel Tiki. My first turning point when I was 11, uh, one of my friends uh, basically I didn't want to say this because I was a little shy, but I, when I was 11, my mom died. And at that point, I started seeing the reality of life when I had to work, I had to do things, I had to make money, and I had to save my money. And that was the first, the first turning point. And the second turning point is when I went to the USA. I went to study over there, I went to high school. And I thought that I spoke English because I was in high, I was in ninth grade. But when I got there, uh, I didn't feel like I, I didn't feel like I fit there. I was kind of like scared, I was shy. I didn't want to talk to the All other right. students. So Tom, sorry to stop you. Good job, nice presentation, Tom. Um, thank you very much, and thank you very much, you know, for opening yourself and tell us about your story. Recommendation, guys. When you make English personal, is when you really learn. Because whatever correction is done at that moment, then you remember. I remember I was talking about my kid when the teacher corrected something, and I related to my own personal opinion. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Tom. Guys, I want you to defeat Tom, because Tom is always participating. I need everybody <laughs> with the willingness to participate. If you don't speak, I won't be able to help you improve. All right? So I need one more volunteer. Just one. I just get I, I, My name is Francisco Arrasal. Hey, hi, Francisco. Nice yeah. meeting you. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Mm -hmm. I just, I, uh, I'm a new one. I just get into the, um, the, the phone call or the video. All right. Well, I just want to. Go ahead. I just, I just want to you know, like, learn some more English because it's necessary in my life, you know, for to get a better job or for getting a better job. Yeah, or uh, because when when I when I went to uh, ask for a job mm -hmm. um, in one um, call center, know. they denied it. You know, like my 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 the 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 job because um they said because i don't have no skills you know from uh anywhere you know like the schools or 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 in support or something like that mm -hmm. that's why i get in you know, this class okay well welcome and i guess that um francisco already explained a turning point in his life he tried getting a job unfortunately it was denied and now he's doing his best to learn english Guys, yes. listen up. Um, if you ever want to get a job in a call center, then and you don't and you know nothing about it, then contact me personally. I worked in the call center industry for a long time as an agent, supervisor, etc. And I have also helped a lot of people getting a job in call centers. Right. So if you uh -huh. ever have a question about that, I can guide you. I'm not gonna charge. Right. Every time that you contact me, say, hey, for example, this is Veronica Soto from group, blah, blah, blah. Can you help me with <laughs> blah, blah, blah? Because I have a lot of contacts on my phone. So please tell me where you're, <laughs> where you're texting me from, and I'll be glad to help you. So Francisco, feel free to contact me during daytime. Um, if you want right. any advice, then of course I can help you. No problem okay. whatsoever. Thanks. All right, thank well, you. All right, guys. For um, yeah, for sure. I'm, like I said, I'm here to help you out. Thank you. Next one. Let's go ahead and work with subordinating conjunctions real quick. Um, by the way, not every class is going to be like this, like so in a rush. 
but the first one is because I want to see how you're doing. So read it with okay. me, please. Lesson objective. Everybody, read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. objective. Lesson, lesson, objective. Lesson, objective. lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn to use subordinated conjunctions. By the end of By the end of the lesson, Very good. I need a volunteer to read it, please. Just one. Me? Me? Mm -hmm. Go. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Continue. But I can see the, I can see the, the little letters. Oh, okay. the, uh -huh. So in that the, case, if you can see, repeat after me. By the end of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, this lesson, participants will learn to use subordinating conjunctions. Subordinated conjunctions. Subordinated conjunctions. All right, very good. Good. Let me see. I need a V steam. Um, Eneida, please give me a color. Any color? Black. Black. David, thank you. Um, David, what is the meaning of turning point? No, uh, where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of turning point? What you were discussing previously. Turning point mm -hmm. is when you return at something. Uh, Almost there, but not quite. Uh, the pandemic right now is a turning point for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I changed. Uh -huh. A change, no. exactly. change. A change. A very important life. change in your life. Exactly. Important changes in our lives. I just want to double check if you got that covered. Um, let's go ahead and work with this video. Please mute your microphones and let's pay attention to it. All right. Okay. This time on the study time process, as soon as you watch the explanation, you will be asked to write some examples. Time clauses. Before I had my first job, I was really immature. After I got my first job, I became more mature. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. The moment I moved away from home, I felt like a different person. As soon as I got my own bank account, I started to be more responsible. Until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. By the time I graduated from high school, I had already started working. Before we begin, it is important to remind you some facts about classes. Number one. All clauses require a subject and a verb. Number two, a time clause is a dependent clause. It can't stand alone. It must be connected to a main clause. Number three, the time clause can come before or after the main clause. And finally, when the time clause comes before the main clause, a comma separates the two clauses. Now let's look at the first sentence. Before I had my first job, I is the subject, had is the verb. If you read, for I had my first job, it makes no sense. It is because it... All right, I think that we can actually shorten this up. Now, um, here guys, we are using subordinating conjunctions. What does that mean? That they depend on something else. If I tell you, before I had my first job, is not a complete idea okay so with all of the ones that i sent to the chat what is the meaning of before can anybody tell me the meaning of before antes. Antes. exactly if i come to you antes de la clase and if i don't say anything else you're gonna be like what antes de la clase que so that's why they are called subordinating conjunctions because they need something else to make sense. What is the meaning of after? 
Después. 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 Would you give me an example? After I finish high school, I started working. Exactly. So you have two ideas. After I finished high school, comma, I started working. You know, they depend on each other. Once. What is the meaning of once? Una vez. Una vez. Una vez que. Aha. So I'm going to give you one. Once I started working, I was able to buy my own stuff. So, una vez comencé a trabajar, pude comprarme mis propias cosas. Okay? The last one. The moment. Say with me, please. The moment. The moment. The moment. Mm -hmm. The moment. Would you be able to use your previous experience to give me an example? In my case, it would be the moment I started living alone was when I finally grew up. Hasta que ahí maduré. So the moment I started living alone, coma, I grew up. Yo maduré. Can anybody give me an example, please? Just one. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Uh, the moment I graduated from Marine Merchant, mm -hmm. I got the chance to go to Spain. Nice example. Al momento en que me gradué de what? Marina Mercante? Uh -huh. Tuve la oportunidad de ir a México. Hey, nice. Where did you get it? In Honduras or Panama? Uh, here in El Salvador. Oh, in Acajutla? In La Unión. Mm, nice. Wow. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. Next one, as soon as. What is the meaning of as soon as? Tan pronto. Tan pronto. Tan pronto, tan pronto como. Como sea. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, talking about the past, you can say, as soon as I got my first job, I bought my car. En cuanto tuve mi primer trabajo, compré mi vehículo. Right? So, always we have two different clauses, and one depends on the other. I need a volunteer to give me an example with as soon as. Uh, I, teacher. Go ahead. Please send me. As soon the... as the class finishes, I will take my dinner. Yes, you can use it <laughs> in future. But yes. right now, Good. we are trying to use it in past. There was a lady uh, who said she wanted to participate. Who was that? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. No problem. Oh, it was Eneida. Okay, go Eneida. Uh, uh, please send me the document as soon as possible. Yes, that's a good example. Both examples are good. The difference is that we can also use it in the past. Okay. So, for example, as soon as I got married, in past, as soon as I got married, comma, my life changed. Mi vida cambió. Para bien o para mal, ustedes imagínense. Um, a so, little question. Can we use it for the, for the future? Yes. Can we? Yeah. yeah. Right? As soon But, as I graduate, mm -hmm. as soon as I get a degree, hopefully I will get a job. Exactly. But right now, we are applying it for the past. To the past. As yeah. soon as. As soon as. Okay. Tan pronto okay. como hice tal cosa, something else happened. Mm -hmm. Next okay. one. Until. Yeah. Say it with me, please. Until. 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 What is the meaning until. of until? Hasta. 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 Like the meaning, like, like the song. Hasta que te conocí. Hasta que. Right? Hasta que me olvides. <laughs> exactly. Another until one. I know you. I don't know about you, but when you were a kid, You said, no, mama, I don't want to eat this. I don't like it. But until you live alone yeah. and you know how difficult it is, you understand. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. to put it in context, until I moved out, I understood the value of food. Right? That's true. Okay. Until mm -hmm. I moved out, I understood the value of food. Give me a, give me one, please. Can I say? 
Go ahead, sir. Okay. So until I got my new house, mm -hmm. I realized that I wasn't prepared to move out my my own. To move out? To move out on my own. On my own. Mm -hmm. On my own. Uh huh. Very good. I wasn't prepared to move out on to my move out own. On my own. Or by myself. Or by myself. Either or. Nice. Good example, William. And the last okay. one. By the time. By the time. What do you think is the, the, the meaning of by the time? Para el tiempo. Para el momento. O para el momento. Para el momento. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if we use it in past? In past. Mm -hmm. By the time I started learning English, mm -hmm. I understood how difficult it was. Nice. Good. Okay. Nice. Good example. So, guys, this is pretty much something that we're going to continue using because there's a lot coming about past tense. All right? So, um, we will be able to use it by tomorrow. So please, I would recommend you to write down one or two examples of your past, okay? So we can put it in context tomorrow. It's gonna be like homework. I normally assign homework like two or three times a week. This is not part of your responsibility, okay? If you wanna improve, do the homework. Yeah. I'm not gonna be chasing you, hey, did you do your homework? If you didn't do it, that's fine because it's not part of the program. But I would strongly recommend you to practice at home. So when we come back, you have a lot of questions or you get to know if what you did is right or wrong so you can improve. Okay? Okay. So guys, this will be all for today. I really hope that you have liked it. I really hope that you have been able to practice, to learn something new, and uh, to get to know the other students. So... Um, any question before I leave? Mm. You couldn't hear the homework. Could you repeat that, please? Sure. Um, you're going to write down real life examples. I mean, your personal life using before, after, as soon as, the expressions that I sent to the group. Here it is. I'm okay. going to send it. Teacher, sorry, can you repeat it? Because I have problem with my internet. If yeah, if sure, sure, sure. No, no problem whatsoever. Uh, okay. uh, where's the group? Give me a second. I'm looking for the group. Here it is. Teacher, I joined the group uh, some minutes ago, so mm -hmm. I I'm not allowed to to see the document. You sent. I haven't sent any document. I, I'm sending it to the WhatsApp group right now. If you are okay, not okay. on the WhatsApp group, let me know so I can actually tell the people in management so they can send you the link. Okay. All right. Okay. Using the past tense with the previous time clauses. All right. So please write real examples using the past tense with the previous time clauses. Before. Okay. Once, once, I already said once, right? I said it twice. Okay, yes. and <laughs> there's a typo. Typo is when you make a mistake typing. I wrote the momento. The momento. Yeah, but it's the moment. Okay. So guys, this is my pleasure. I, I'm so happy to get to know you all. Any question, text me. I might take a while to answer. Uh, <laughs> I want to set up the right expectations, but I will. Just let me know. Hey, this is this is uh, William from Pre Advanced Three, and this is my question. So I know who I'm talking to. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. With all the love of my life, get out of here. Go, go, go. Enjoy. Get some rest. Have some dinner and go to bed. Take care, my friends. <laughs> okay. nice. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, teacher. Bye bye. Oh, delicious. No, <laughs> no. Goodbye.